Hi, so we're here at the RD Tech X show with Joannium Research. Um, Gregor, could you tell us a little bit about what you do and what you're showing here at the uh, booth today? Very well. So what you see here is uh, the Biosoflex technology. And um, this was uh, or is a technology developed at Joannium Research, which is a non-profit research organization located in Austria. And Biosoflex itself means it's a fully printed ferroelectric sensor. And ferroelectricity means the sensor has the ability to detect changes in pressure as well as temperature, and we also use vibro acoustics as additional feature for structure bone sound, for example. Right. So here you've got sort of a smart floor product with a sensor in it. Can you show yeah. us a little bit of so that? What, what you see here is a sensor directly integrated in the wooden floor build-up, directly mm -hmm. in the wooden tile. Um, in this case, we use the structure bone sound, and here is a visualization. We have three sensors at each tile, and when you walk around, the sensor detects the vibration pattern, and here you see the visualization, which you can use for smart living applications like fall detection system, alarm system, um, also people counting in public spaces, and even energy harvesting is feasible. So how much energy would you be able to harvest from this kind of thing in a uh, public it, space? Uh, it's <laughs> a, quite a tricky question to answer. It always depends on the sensor buildup and also on the deformation you have. Okay. So if you have a high deformation, of course you gain higher energy, but we made a calculation that um, we know that the human step has in the range of four watt, bringing in energy, okay. and one square centimeter of our sensor is able to harvest four microwatt. Uh, so micro quite okay. low, yeah. but by engineering this value can of course be increased. And so this is a, so it's a printable sensor over a large area? It's in yeah. principle printable. Um, so the fabrication of the sensor is a standard screen printing process. Um, it's composed of only four functional layers. So you print the first step, a bottom electrode, then this sensor active polymer, a top electrode, and finally the silver linings to connect the sensor to readout electronics. And if you want, you can also um, print and protection layer to prevent from mechanical abrasion. The overall sensor thickness is all in the range of only 10 to 15 microns, so very, very thin. If I compare it always to a human hair, which has about 80 microns, okay. so compared to this, it's really thin technology. And I think printed electronics, everybody is well aware that screen printing also offers you a high freedom in geometry and design. Mm -hmm. So we can adjust the geometry to customer specific needs as well as the electronics needed for the readout of the sensor. Great, so, and you're showing some other demos here on the booth today. Can you we talk us through these? We have some other demos. Um, for example, this demonstrator is combined a three times five sensor matrix as a backplane application with an e-ink display from Plastic Logic. And here you have different interaction modes like the swiping gesture, the display changes, then you have the touch to activate, and of course, due to the flexibility of the sensor and the display, you have the third dimension of input for flexible electronic devices. So maybe the flip cover for smartphones, but also the electronic wallet, which is shown here, and many different other applications, also flexible e-reader would be possible. So loads of new applications can be realized with this technology. So you see these bends. So you got a good bending radius, so you can use that as a sensor itself? You can use it as a so sensor, a but you have to be quite trained to this. I think you have to apply mm, a certain pressure. Oh, I see. Right. Yeah. So it's tuning to the pressure, I see. And then the flexibility, for example, in this case, identity cards, you can swipe through. So you can also implement navigation system, um, many, many different. It's quite thin, and this is just a 3D printed cover to stabilize the whole system. Sure. And another demo we have here is, all you see here, uh, the Bisoflex sensor again. Um, we say this is a condition monitoring demonstrator. It enables the touch, which you see on the display, the click. It also reacts to compression of air, uh, the swipe. So if you have air compression, and also detects the status of the engine, like it's on, now you can see it's on, but not moving. And now when you have 
the engine on at the rotation, you see the rotations per minute and the frequency. So this is also by acoustical readout, and we see uh, this acoustic abilities of Bisoflex as a strong new field which we want to explore. You can turn it on, increase the rotations, decrease it. So we see this application, for example, for cyber physical systems, like predictive maintenance, or as shown as a condition demonstration. So this is again using the Pisoflex sensor on the top of here yeah, for any yeah, machine yeah. state. Just for, as a technical demonstrator to yeah. show the proof of concept, mm -hmm. but um, we at your name research, the Biosoflex team has also the ability to make high quality demonstrators which fits the needs of the possible customer yeah. that he can show that Biosoflex can really be used in a new application sure. every customer may have in mind. So this would be within something like an automotive space or some industrial monitoring for, or anything for example, like yeah, that? Yeah, okay. yeah. Excellent. And then what about this demo here? It's sort of a more flexible version. This is a very flexible version. So uh, here is the sensor printed on a only 25 micron thick thermoplastic polyurethane, which is also for medical standards. In this case, we use it for a skin application. It can be directly attached to the skin, for example, for um, heartbeat or restoration monitoring. And due to the low overall thickness of this material, it can also be easily integrated into different build-ups like mm -hmm. artificial leather, like um, textiles, or, or even into furniture, um, sure. just to make objects smart and giving them a function for human-machine interaction. Mm -hmm. And then in terms of the development, so you're working on integrating the materials into the sensors, uh, but yep. so would you work when with an electronics contract manufacturer to do the readouts or anything uh, separately, or would you do those yourself? We do this also ourselves, so we uh -huh. have a strong ability because we know the sensor itself is very strong, but you have, for customized solutions you always also have to think about the readout electronics mm -hmm. to bring these parts together. And, um, what we have, we have a strategic partnership with Piezo de Hakema, mm -hmm. who's making the upscaling of the ink. And we also identified, uh, this is the Piezo de material. And we have also identified um, a contract manufacturer, um, the company Armax, who can make the sensors um, at high throughput printing process. So, Bisoflex from JR, Yonium Research, Piezotech and Almax. So it's ready for mass production. Okay, and uh, this demo is just another geometry. It's a 3 times 5 matrix, which is also used as a backplane for this demo, attached to the backside of the display. And it's just a technical demonstration that you can see the interaction. You have the swipe gesture, which is shown here. The strongest input, of course, you have is bending. So the flexibility, here you see the signals of bending, also the voltage gained. And um, of course this sensor is addressed, we also have the pressure level detection. This is not working yet. So in principle, um, with our readout electronics, we have the ability to detect different pressure levels. So with <laughs> a slight pressure, you can use the system for a different interaction as when you have a strong pressure. Sure. So, and we see the Biosoflex technology as a new technology platform, which enables loads of applications, making objects smart, and also be used, for example, in IoT sensor applications. Great, so how's your experience been at the Arditech show these last few days? Very, very good. Um, it's the third time we are uh, uh, exhibiting at the show. So last year here in Berlin was the first time, then at the US event. And um, we have, as you see here, loads of different or many contacts um, with many different application ideas. Mm -hmm. And so we see the DechX show also as an able to go the next step for making a business out of Bisoflex technology. Fantastic. Very good. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to do the video today and all the best for the future. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much.